Hey there, welcome to the AE Macintosh channel. Today we're going to look inside Paul's van. So here we are then with Paul, working with Paul today. We do usually a day a week. Occasionally we get together, do some big jobs together, stuff like that. I know it's taken us a long time to get around to this. I feel like I've got a backlog of videos at the moment. So anyway, finally we're here. Let's have a look inside Paul's van. Uh, so it's fully fitted out now, Paul. Oh well, yeah, all ready to rock and roll and I've been using it as well, so it's great. So if you remember, we've got Ford Transit Custom. Yep, short what you started wheelbase. off with, yep. short wheelbase. Yep. Okay, and uh, in the end, it's been fitted out by? Uh, Villarique Cleaning and Supplies down in Villarique, North London. Uh, Josh there. And they're on social media, aren't they? Instagram as well, stuff like that. That's it. So talk us through the kit. Okay, so um, it's um, a system from Window Cleaning Warehouse. It's called a Compact, and it's a 525 litre system. Um, over here, I've got my two resin vessels that feed my two reels. I've got a manual reel and an electric reel from Window Cleaning Warehouse, yeah? Yeah. Um, really, really nice to, uh, you've done a long job, push the button, it just reels it in immediately. It yeah. means I get a lot more work done as well, so I'm chuffed with that. And I've actually, after you did that last thing about what's Paul gonna get, I got a lot of people contacting me in my age group, looking to get into this, but wanting to make sure that I, it was working for me because that would imply it would be working for them. Yeah, um, but I think that's, the appeal, isn't it, of an electric reel, whatever age you are, is yeah. you want to make sure that you be able to keep doing your job ongoing, long term yes. as well. Yes, spot on. So I found that absolutely fantastic for me. A uh, nice set of pole racks across the top as well. Yeah, it runs right across the, the top now, not just having something on the side and then it gets stuffed up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you've got tons of room all the way across. Yeah. And what have you got up here? Okay, so. Um, this is the poles for my gutter sucker. So this has been really, really good, good way of doing it for me, right across the top. And I literally get in my scrapers, my poles for managing my mosmatics, everything. Yeah. yeah, brilliant. Now, what I like about this system is it's all come like it's one unit really, isn't it? So you've got the controllers, the batteries, it's all built in and the tank, 500 litre tank. Yeah, 525 I think it is. Yeah. The reels are mounted on top. So in terms of space, it really makes good use of the space. The options that you usually have, like my van has got the flat tank, which covers you know, the floor, pretty much the whole floor of the uh, van. Yeah. But I've got all that space above to stack stuff on top. Yeah. The other option usually is an upright tank, but you can have issues then with the weight being yeah. quite high up, yeah. although you do save a lot of space. Yeah. Seeing more and more of these kind of mid tanks now, yeah. where it's um, it's not flat, but it's not completely upright, but it still gives you a lot of space around the back. You've still got a lot of room around the back there, haven't you? Fantastic. Should we take a look? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, so um, this is where I've got my ramp. My ramps go down there, and then I can just get my gutter sucker in there, or and my pressure washer goes in there, yeah. Yeah. This is the tank itself. Um, and obviously I feed the water in to here from my IBC tank at home, go straight in there. Okay. So yeah, that's worth mentioning. This is a delivery system only, isn't it? It's a delivery system only, yeah. So um, I filter the water at home yeah. and I get it down to between eight and 10 parts per million at home. Then it goes into here and going to RO, so that's an RO system at home. RO system at home, Pentair yep. system. Yeah. Um, and then going into here, when it goes through these two resin vessels, or one at a time, depending on which reel. So that's one for each reel, isn't it? That's yeah. it. Yeah. That brings it down to zero. And on the wall, you'll just see I've got a little um, TDS meter that I just need to tidy up a bit. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but I've just tidied it up. Um, and then that's, that's the basic system, yeah? Yeah, that I've got. But some nice little things. So I'll take you around the back again. On here, I've got the two controllers. Yeah. This controller is a manual one for my manual reel. Yeah. And this controller is a remote controlled one. Okay. 
which is great for me because if I'm at the back of the house cleaning a conservatory, I know I can push up the volume on here yeah. of water, quickly get it done yeah. and just move off. So you can adjust the flow according to the circumstances or the situation Spot. that you're working in. Yeah. And you've got that just around your neck. Yeah, it's great. It's I don't good. use it all the time, but it's just where you need to. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that works really, really well. Awesome. And so this is a split charge relay on here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Which charges the batteries yeah. inside here, which will run off the main engine. That's it. So that makes, makes sure you've always got power. And then this is just a panel here that you can actually unscrew and remove if you do need to access anything. I think change the batteries every year, so you'd need to do that as a maintenance thing eventually. So there's a few other little kind of nice little add-ons you've got as well. Yeah, there is. Accessories. Yeah. Um, yeah, these accessories for holding things and obviously for brush heads, I put those there. Over here, my cloths and my sprays etc here. The nice thing about these which are made out of a sort of plastic, really really good value for money. Did you, did you buy them extra? Yeah I bought these um, from somewhere else actually, yeah gripper tank. And then a nice thing that um, Josh of Villa Ricky did for me, and I think he does it for all the installs he does, uh, <laughs> is this lighting thing. So there's my logo at the back there and then if I just and your lights come on. Whoa. And then you can um, you can actually play with it and go for different coloured lights if you choose to as well. But that's basically how it can you change the colour. You can, you can do red, green. Oh, there you go. There's your, yeah. Yes. There's your green. There's your orange. There's your yellow. There's your cyan. Can you do the nice right matches? Uh, it says so, don't <laughs> Whoa, you can have a disco in the back of your van. Which I thought was nice of it. <laughs> That's cool. But the reason, I, th this system for me, it just says quality and professionalism. So when you go to customers or a big, if you're doing a hotel or a home, you know, a residential home, and you turn up with this, they know you're serious and it's, it's easier to justify your costings. It's nice. Helps you project that professional image, doesn't it? It does. And that justifies what I feel are um, the, the prices that I need to charge to actually make a decent living out of it. Yeah. So uh, when we spoke before, when you originally got the van, yeah. you ended up just keeping the flooring as it is and you haven't... The, the Rhino works really, really well. Um, I'm just putting some sealant around here to stop water running underneath it, because that's the, this and this are the two weak areas. Yeah. yeah. So I will be just putting some sealant there and there. And Stop. you've kept a few of the storage boxes that you had, I think. Yeah, that's right. So those are there. And then I've got these little ones, which I find really, really useful mm. from, from B&Q. They're just easy to get in and out. And a little things, yeah. Since we last saw the van, you've had some sign writing as well now? Uh, yeah. I got Villa Ricky to do this as well, actually, because they... So they do the whole service? Yeah, but they also supply water, if you need water. They supply the consumables, so cloths and all the rest of it. Okay. Clothing, if you need... Embroidery and everything. Yeah, They amazing. do the whole thing. Yeah. And van wraps. So I went for vinyls. I just wanted something that said, I do a good job, I take it seriously, Yeah. and that's it. And you did... You've got the design for the logo done somewhere else, didn't you, as well? Yeah, that's it. That's, yeah, I paid for that. Yeah. So yeah. Well, it's looking really smart, isn't it? But it's been, it's been absolutely great. And I've um, got so many suggestions from your followers on the YouTube as yeah. to what to do. Lots of them were actually saying, take this route, which okay. is where I've ended up. So just a thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so that's great. Yeah, thanks for showing us around the van, Paul. It's looking really good. I think it's a really great setup that Paul's ended up with there. So big thanks to Villa Ricky Cleaning Services as well. That's it. Um, check them out. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch up with you guys again soon. <laughs>